This is Joe Burnish again. Welcome to part three of my ongoing video series that teaches people how to rank their websites using SEO. In this part, we're going to learn how to easily get backlinks to your website by commenting on other people's blogs. Most of you know what a backlink is, but if you don't, it's basically a link from one website to another. It can be a word or a picture. So anytime you click on something and it takes you to another page or a website, you're actually clicking on a backlink, and that's what we want to go for. Backlinks are very important when it comes to SEO and ranking with Google. Each link counts as a vote for your web page, and the most powerful links are actually text links that contain your keywords. So if you haven't researched your keywords and placed them on your site, then please go back and review part one and part two of this series. Okay, and now how do we go ahead and how do we comment on blogs? Well, whenever you read an article or an update on someone's blog, you can scroll down to the bottom and look for the comments section. If they allow for blog comments and allow you to enter your website, then you've found a winner. That's what you're looking for. Um, so let's go over an example. One of my favorite blogs to start with is called problogger.net. And it's basically just blog posts on how to write blogs, um, tips and tricks and stuff like that. So let's go down and find one post that has lots of comments. Okay, this one has 81 comments, so let's check this one out. So we'll click over here, and it's basically a, an article on writing mistakes for bloggers. Um, and so we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom here, and you can see here people are leaving comments. So that's what we want. We want to be able to leave comments just like they are. Um, you scroll down all the way to the bottom, and you can see where you can enter a name an email and a website. So this is what you're looking for. Okay, first of all, in the name section, um, you want to put your keywords if possible. I know this website allows for it. Some do, some don't. Um, if they don't allow for it, just put your name. That'll still be a link. It won't be as powerful as a keyword link, but it'll still be um, counted. So, um, for example, what I like to do is put my first name and then a dash or an at sign or, or whatever you want. So I got my name and my keyword. Okay, And then for the email I usually just put in a secondary email, not my primary email because some blogs will send you start sending you a lot of spam or they'll sell your email address off. So I always put in a secondary um, email address as opposed to my primary. And then for the website of course you want to put um, your website. So Here's the website I'm going to be using. And what I do is I want to, I want everything. I want the HTTP colon everything here. So I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to copy that, come back to the blog, and I will just paste it in there. You can type it if you want, but I like to copy and paste. That way I don't have any typos, and once you start doing it, it's actually faster. So, um, And then as far as a comment, you need to put something that's relevant to the post you just read. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, super intelligent. It just has to be um, relating because usually the blog po the blog owner will read these posts and either count them as spam or approve them. So you want to get approved, obviously. Um, so, like for example, here's something you can do. Um, you can read the last comment there and say, um, "This one's by Phil McDermott." And say, "I agree with Phil." Um, very enjoyable and packed with good info. Um, having a byline is essential. So basically, I'm basically comp I'm agreeing with this guy and saying that you know having a byline is something that that is important. And so then I'll click post comment. Okay, it says your comment is awaiting moderation. So you usually have to wait a couple hours to a couple days depending on the blog owner and how fast they get to your comment. Um, but this is how it will show up. Joe, Carpet Cleaning, Kansas City. That's a link over to my website. So for example, we click on that, it takes me over to my website. We just built a backlink, okay? So that's basically it. Now, um, It's important to comment on lots of different blogs, not just the same ones over and over. You need a good variety. So 
how are we going to go out there and find decent blogs to comment on? Well, here's how I do it. Okay, so let's say I've made a, a, a comment here on problogger.net. Well, let's look up here and see um, other people's comments. They have links back to their websites. Typically, these websites are blogs as well. So let's check out this guy's here. Okay, and so he, we brought him, we, we were then directed over to his website here. Um, let's look at his first post here. Dance and be happy. Okay, looks like a video, um, inspirational video type of blog post. Go down to the bottom here. There are four comments so far. Okay. And you can see, you can put your name, mail, website. That's what we want. So we'll do the same thing. And I'll put my email again. Website back in there. Okay, simple comment for a simple post. So I click submit. Thanks for commenting. Okay. And so then we'll go back. Let's go back again. Um, now let's go to. Um, now we'll, we need to find another blog. Let's find another blog based on these comments. So let's see, Dominic. Let's see what if we can click over there. Okay, this takes us to his blog. Uh, how to be more productive, healthy living. What does your body need? Okay, we'll read through this here. Um, and you can see here that people are commenting on it. So let's click on the comments. Eight people have commented on it so far. And then we can come down here and leave our own comment. And then we can click on here and find out their blog post and go th and go start, you know, start over. Keep going on and on and on. Um, you do two or three of these a day and it's going to really start adding up. Um, some of them will be approved, some of them won't, some of them will be more powerful than others. But as long as you do three a day, let's say, um, you know, in a month, that's 90 backlinks. Let's say half of those are counted. That's 45 backlinks to your website. That's pretty powerful. So um, that's one way to build um, comments for, or, I'm sorry, build links using blog comments. Um, in part four, we're going to get into another way to build backlinks, and that is from internet forums. So please join me for that one.